Hello my soccer universe, on this rainy day I'm editing the Bundesliga jersey review and so it is not ready for uh, you guys yet and therefore I have decided, okay, let's do a from the collection video to bridge uh, the gap a little bit and this is a video that I've been thinking about for quite a while, uh, talking about all the teams the, for which I have jerseys that are currently not in the top division, meaning they will not feature this year in any of my videos, except for this one. So uh, that's quite exciting. And I chose to wear some Doria because I'm really afraid that I am, and I always say I'm losing them for the next year, for the upcoming season, because some Doria is seriously really relegation threatened and not look, looking good, which is a true shame because some Doria shirts are some of the best in there. So yeah, I'm going to show you these jerseys, uh, quickly mention in what league they're in, what are the chances of them coming back, <laughs> probably, let's, let's see that, and a little bit uh, how I came about them, but you know, uh, it's, it's a good selection, I would say we uh, go right in, I want to start with uh, leagues where I have only one team. Uh, then we go uh, to, uh, a little bit up, I mean at most I have four uh, teams and in one case this actually means five jerseys. We'll start in Germany where the team that I that is not currently in the Bundesliga is of course 1860 Munich. I recently acquired that. I always I always have maintained that 1860 is probably my favorite team in Germany. Currently they're only in the third league so will take a while until they're back in the Bundesliga. I would love to see them back although they would have a stadium problem because they cannot play in the Allianz Arena anymore. This one even has a broken name set to be fixed at one point, but that's why I got it only for 7 euros. Next up, Spain. Shock relegation. I really didn't, they didn't expect this team to go down in Granada, which means actually Mallorca stayed in, so I would have lost a team. Uh, this Granada jersey I got, I think, two years ago from Sportspa. Uh, this is a prototype. I argue this is my ugliest jersey and I still love it because when you wear it you really look like a superhero because this looks like a cape on the uh, uh, back, it's blank. If the sleeves were white I th and these things were not there I think it would look much better and of course uh, this blank. But yeah, Granada, I really hope they will come, come, come back, it would be nice to have uh, one, an, another, to have them all, all the Liga teams in there. Granada did not expect to go down last season, so that's why it was a shock. Next up, two teams is of course England, and the first one I want to show here is a gift from my buddy Matt from Football Shirts for Dementia, who sent me this uh, Gillingham away jersey, which is the local team that he visits and supports. Uh, it's the only team from Kent as far as I know. And while it is a rather basic Macron uh, shirt, you know, all of this is sublimated, I actually really enjoy uh, this one. The crest is stitched, uh, the Macron logo also. And what my favorite thing is, of course, here, the uh, horse is also on the back side, which my girls really, really, really like. So uh, nice gift. They're playing currently in League Two, so there's not a big chance of them making it back uh, into the Premier League anytime soon. I'm not even sure if they have ever been in the Premier League. Matt, please uh, uh, keep me, uh, tell me whether they did or not. The other one is of course Norwich City, which was part of my first mystery exchange with uh, Dan from Club Football Shirts. And yeah, they got recently re relegated. Uh, they're usually bouncing up, down, up, down. I'm not sure how their standings are now in the championship, but you know, I'm, I will not be surprised if Norwich City is again among the teams that get promoted. It was a little bit a shame to see this go because this bright shade of yellow really fitted well with the background there. On the other side, um, this allows me now to wear it a little bit more ca casually. The one thing, I really, really love this shirt and the way it looks. The one thing is that this crest here, there is some... Um, stitching i think we removed it but but it was really rubbing me here uh because this is just a um, nylon uh thread here but i think we got rid of that and i i may put a little patch in there as well to uh get uh rid of it otherwise i really really like this jersey so yeah uh it was a it was a really really nice one to have and i hope the north city will come back there is no country where i have Three teams missing, there are now the two left that were four teams missing. And you probably can guess this is Italy and this is France. And we'll go to Italy 
another shock relegation for me last season and one that actually really hurt because uh as you will see i have quite a few italian teams uh but that so many are now down it really hurts the collection because there are only 12 serie a teams at the moment and i didn't expect Cagliari to go down this one i got i think on a black friday sale from classic football portraits i really love this Cagliari home jersey it is so clean without the sponsor i mean the Cagliari crest has also been improved in, in, in a way i really really like this one uh and it's a shame that i cannot show you the one thing that i always struggle with serie art jerseys is whenever they have the red and the uh, blue it's usually that the blue gets darker and darker and darker so so, so that the jerseys get darker as well but other than that it's a really really nice looking uh jersey overall one that i like even better is of course this parma jersey this was the 1819 i think it has even the yeah 1819 um away jersey and for me parma this is more like a parma jersey i never i never really liked the black and white cross for me a parma jersey is more like what they had in the 90s a white jersey with a little bit of uh, blue and yellow accents here and there i mean ideally the 95 96 one that was the really nicest one although the team was not great but i also like this one and i remember when i saw this uh is a great area creation i love how the sponsor fits in here and even this sponsor does not look out of place because it balances so nicely what makes it even better is i mean a when they play i really like that here the yellow sleeves and then um the blue here but it looks a little bit like bees and then you have this gradient dot pattern and area at the time was really known for the dot patterns that actually give this a little bit more structure as as well it's an absolutely beautiful jersey one that i've struggling to get for a, a quite quite a while and during corona i said i better get this one i only got with bruno alvarez it's an l it's rather tight i would love to have this in a double xl of course viva la mama always like it and of course javinia would, would have been even better but you know bruno alvarez, it's a really really nice shirt unfortunately it's really really tight on me so this is one more or less for the collection i really hope that parma will come up soon because this is a jersey that deserves to be on the background a team that will not come back anytime soon is my first uh, uh probably uh, my first really odd jersey Kiva verona they're defunct the club doesn't exist any, 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 anymore and there's not really a lot of um movement behind in re-establishing it when i bought this jersey they were the sensation of Serie A, and i could get this the full kit actually for a really reasonable price it's a double xl it is huge homa nowadays is not huge but this one is absolutely uh is absolutely humongous on, on me i look like a, a, a pterosaurus uh in a way but i always like i mean it's again the bright yellow i like the um, horse or, or the knight here i never understood the double sponsor why do we have to have the same sponsor twice and why do we need this one in red that's maybe the only downside but well, this is a it's a really interesting shirt and even here Kievo Verona problem is of course Kievo Verona uh they're not the main team in Verona the, uh, Kievo is basically a little village just outside of Verona so there's not much there and there is so much uh ill will towards you know the, the owners that they were there that that team basically died although they were competing in Serie B last season but yeah it's unfortunately over with Kievo Verona and so this shirt is becoming a novelty kind of in my collection probably of all the shirts that i'm showing you probably my favorite um is the last one from serie a and you can guess it's this beautiful venezia jersey number 200 in my collection uh which i still cannot believe this was the one where they got promoted i got it i bought it i think uh towards the end of that that season because venezia at first everyone got crazy about it and then on the venezia club store they were selling it off for half price and it was hanging there for uh, at least a couple of months and and and, and so on. i said no i gotta get this i mean i didn't expect venezia to come up but you know i've been to venice i have very nice memories from going there and i thought this would be really nice i've been even at the stadium um so i really thought i get this venezia jersey because it is just gorgeous look at it i mean orange black green uh it is absolutely orange with the crest 
I think what they're doing with, with the model was a little bit better. I think just having the lion, it's it's too busy. But you know, other than that, I I really loved what Nike did, did with that. I agree that this is a it looks always a little bit like a rugby shirt as well, but it is so much class. Um, I had to get it with the patch, so I got a player. This is a player version jersey, uh, as is shown on the uh, golden tag here. But what's even better, and I really love the, the, uh, this one. So I, I wanted to have the patch, but I had to go to a to, to number. I had to had to get, get, get a number with it, and I went through the entire squad, and I needed one. I said, okay, I can choose the big player, but then I saw that he was uh, with Inter. And I said, is there anyone that has had any games for Milan? Turns out Feli Jolie was playing for Milan, so I got him. I also like the number 14. So yeah, really, really nice jersey. Uh, probably the favorite of the ones that I have shown you so far. And then we're done with Italy. We're going to France. And France, for the longest of times, I mean, if it, Cagliari and Venezia wouldn't have gone down last season, I France would still be an outlier. Although in France, I also had a shock relegation. Uh, a little bit in the first jersey and I would argue it's between Parma and this team who is the bigger team but I would argue Bordeaux is a, has at least a larger fan base when I first you know I always had PSG shirts and then I said uh, when the channel got started I once said okay um, maybe it's time to get other league earned teams let's start with the big boys let's get Marseille and let's get Bordeaux little did I know that Bordeaux were going down I really love Bordeaux shirts. Uh, this one is a little, I love the color. I love that the chevron is a little bit with the dot pattern. I don't dislike the sponsor on it. I know it doesn't fit on it, but I think the sun uh, here makes it, makes it stand out. Yes, they had nicer sponsors, but I really uh, don't dislike the, this one. Um, even without the sponsor, I think this shirt is pure class. The shirt is pure class. Uh, and yeah, I hope that Bordeaux will get promoted. I actually hope that all of these will get promoted, but only two will make it. But uh, just for the beauty of this jersey, there's only one team in France that I would like to more that gets promoted. Uh, then here is here are two teams that I bought knowing that they're in uh, Ligue 2 already, but those were shirts from Ligue 1. Uh, I always liked this name. Uh, I think this is from the 19, 20, 21 season. Let me just think. Uh, must be 2021 season the neem away jersey i actually like the uh, third jersey the best which was black with uh, the center stripe in red the home jersey is basically uh red with a white but i always like the crocodile scale pattern and then i only could get this one uh in my size all sublimated here so uh easy to wear having no trouble with it it's a gorgeous shirt i have to say yes for French League, there's too many sponsors on there. I agree with that, but I love the crocodile pattern. And crocodiles are definitely my favorite uh, animal. So there you go. Nim, I'm very, very happy to own this shirt. With the same uh, order, I also got a shirt from a, t uh, from a team. It comes from a town that I actually have nice memories of, which is, of course, Amiens. This shirt, I don't think I will wear all that often because this is all plastic, 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 plastic. I'm uh, I'm afraid if I wash this a little bit more often, this will go down. So I have not worn it so far. It's the tag still attached and I probably will keep it this way. Uh, of course, my girls love it because Amya has two unicorns uh, in the uh, crest. They have meanwhile a uh, slightly updated, they had a potentially better looking crest. This is a Puma template uh, that was very popular around that time. Um, I think Crystal Palace had a, sim a similar one. Uh, typically for League Earn teams, many, many sponsors everywhere. Um, but yeah, I thought I've been in Amir, so let's get an Amir shirt. Is it a great jersey? No. Uh, does does look better than the Granada jersey? I let you judge. I think it does, and it has the unicorns on there. So yeah, um, I don't dislike it. It's just a jersey. Did you see some, 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 some in my um, reviews for League uh, uh, um, and the Eredivisie because I don't have enough League 1 jerseys. So I always put a League 2 or two League 2 jerseys sometimes even in, in there based on their recent results. Which leaves us with the last team for which I have two jerseys. That's a team that I really would love to come back. Uh, mainly because it's uh, the team of my friend Idris 
from uh, Amour du Maillot. We're talking, of course, about Caen. This is the first one I got of theirs, and I've also been to the city of Caen. I think I've stayed there also. The same trip that I was in Amour, beautiful city. Uh, you know, uh, the, the location ends on, yes, war damage, blah, blah, blah. That's beside. Uh, but it has some interesting sites. Um, once I got to know him, and this was at the time, I really would like to have a jersey from every city that I've ever been to, which is sometimes not that easy <laughs> to be to figure out. But Kao is was an obvious one, and especially when I got to know him and I saw in his videos there's a Kao in there. Yeah, okay. They had at that season a wonderful away jersey, which of course was not on sale, and this I got last year, um, which was not on. Uh, sale anymore and so um this one looked always a little bit odd to me with the fading stripes i mean i do like the pattern that's in there there is kind of a structure uh real pattern i really like the crest and i know this is contentious but uh it's it's a little bit american style but you know i i love u.s sports so i i do like the normal warrior uh up there um and then we, I saw, I, I remember I was on vacation in Bulgaria and, and, and I was going back, back and forth. Maybe, uh, we have been talking with it recently, you know, it was at the beginning of our relationship, uh, if you want to say. And I was wondering, yeah, maybe I should get this one. I mean, it was the third, third year, so I can't contact him and ask him um, uh, because I think a shipping made it. And he said, you know, no problem, I ordered for you, I send it to you. Uh, and this was basically the first uh, exchange that we had in the, uh, between the two of us. And so he did, and it came, and I really, really liked it. Uh, I said, I even remember, while I think it's not a classic shirt, and the season after, they had a much, much better one. Um, I thought, you know, my red and blue stripes are very well covered with Barcelona. This looks a little bit different, and I, for that reason... It is kind of special. I even like here on the back, uh, you know, there's some, there are the two lions, like from the uh, Normandy. There's, of course, a long ship and so on. So there, there's quite some nice uh, stuff in there. So really, really happy with this one. However, I got two. Because just a few weeks later, he was browsing and found another car shirt in dead stock, which is this one. I think this is the 1819. The one that I just, just showed, they just escaped re re relegation. They were about to go, go down, they escaped relegation and stayed in. So for that reason, that's a special shirt. This one, unfortunately, they got relegated from Ligue 1. It was the last time they were in Ligue 1. But it has some special value to me. Yes, it's also not a classic pattern for the team because you want to have the normal red and blue stripes. And this looks a little bit like Barcelona had something like that, PSG has something like that. And I even re remember Idris telling me it looks like a PSG shirt. Yes, you're right, it does. But I always did like this. And there is a jersey review video from the 18-19 Ligue 1 season where this jersey is on the thumbnail. And I remember this was one of those where I thought, I'm never going to have this jersey. How am I going to get this jersey? And then he sends it to, 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 to me as a gift. So I'm really, really happy to have that one. And so there you go. These are all my jerseys. Ah, there's even another nice feature here. You have the crest basically here on the back, which also makes it. Sponsors are more or less the same. So yeah, all my second or third or even fourth tier jerseys in my collection and one defunct one. Which ones of these do you like? How many uh, do you have jerseys that are from lower league teams? I mean, some people only collect uh, such teams. So it would be interesting uh, as well. Which ones of these do you like? Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!